Congress CEO and Rahul Gandhi, who is a potential opposition candidate to be the face of PM in the upcoming 2024 general elections, has hardly any time for his own party or his country in that matter. I am saying this because there has been quite a pattern as before any important event in the country, be it elections or a summit or his party's rally, Rahul Gandhi prefers a foreign trip over them. As per some recent reports, Rahul Gandhi is likely to travel abroad on December 9th and visit Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia and Vietnam. This is soon after the counting and results of the five state elections that will be declared on 3rd of December. This obviously is not the first time that Rahul Gandhi will be going missing soon after the results of elections or major political events. Interestingly, Rahul Gandhi recently returned from a mysterious trip from Uzbekistan. Prior to that, in April 2022, Rahul Gandhi went off communication for about 10 days. Around the time, poll strategist Prashant Kishore rejected Congress' offer to join the party. In December 2021, as state elections were scheduled in 2022, Rahul Gandhi again went missing on a personal trip to Italy. This was soon after his long vacation to England in November 2021. In December 2022, he went to Italy, leaving the party embarrassed on its foundation day. During the discussion on the important Citizenship Amendment Act in the 2019 winter session, Rahul Gandhi went on a trip to South Korea. Prior to that, he had addressed only five rallies in the then poll-bound Jharkhand. Did you know that from 2015 to 2019, Rahul Gandhi took 247 trips abroad? That would be an average of 62 trips a year and about five a month. This data was provided by Home Minister Amit Shah in 2019 while discussing the special protection group in the Lok Sabha. In the month of May 2019, just before the counting of parliamentary elections, Rahul Gandhi skipped an important meeting held by UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi in which they had planned to decide on a PM candidate and he flew to London for a holiday. Soon after, Modi government returned to power and Rahul Gandhi resigned as party president. Then again in the month of October 2019, that is 15 days before the assembly elections in Haryana and Maharashtra, Rahul Gandhi had left reportedly for Bangkok. Not only elections, but Rahul Gandhi showed no obedience or respect for his party's events as just the following month, he skipped and missed out on 35 press conferences that were planned by his party against union government's policies. Now, coming to this year, Rahul Gandhi missed out on one of the most important events that was hosted by India, that is the G20 summit, and instead he went to Europe on a five-day visit. Foreign visits are a normal part of a politician's life, but not when they are mysterious with secret closed-door meetings. In fact, Rahul Gandhi's foreign visits are filled with insults to his own country, where he is seen meeting with anti-India elements and glorifies organizations like IUML by calling them secular. Muslim Muslim League is a completely secular party. Further, not only are his visits to foreign lands shrouded in mystery, he has also ended up meeting anti-India elements. He has been rubbing shoulders with aides of known regime changers such as George Soros and other Islamist leaders who do not have the best interests of India in their mind. That's not all. Rahul Gandhi has also called for intervention of foreign forces for his own political gains in India. It was in April 2021 that Rahul Gandhi, while speaking at Harvard Kennedy School's Institute of Politics, said that the US establishment should say more about what is happening in India. He repeated the same rhetorics at the Ideas for India conference in the UK in 2022. He expressed his desire for foreign intervention at least twice at that time. As Rahul Gandhi readies himself to go on yet another foreign trip, just months before the 2024 general elections, eyebrows are being raised on the same. Let us know in comments what are your views on Rahul Gandhi's foreign trips abroad.